Yo. Today I'm back with another baby keem tutorial. I saw a bunch of you guys comment and say you guys want more of it and I am more than down to do it. Before you get into it, be sure to leave a like and a comment and let us know what more tutorials you guys want to see. Be sure to check out the description for our website and all the boys. Be sure to join our Discord to stay updated on our Twitch. We're doing weekly streams all the time now. Um, a bunch of feedback streams, a bunch of beat battles as well. And yeah, it's just a ton of fun. And if you guys want to see the first baby keem tutorial I did, you guys can just click on one of the cards up here. I'll just be sure to put it up there. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So starting off with this Baby Keem beat, I'm kind of leaning more towards like the sample flip Baby Keem Kendrick. There's a bunch of different styles that they do, but this is one of them. So I started off with this sample from Sound Source. And I think it was kind of like a synth accent run or something like that. Uh, it wasn't really an entire loop, but I kind of just heard the start of it and caught inspiration from that. After that, I pitched it down by four and I just put the mode on stretch. And then after that, I usually just put the range up here on 12 so that I can easily bump it up and down an octave if I want to with the slider. And because I do this, it's just easy to half time any loop. And if you want to keep it at the same pitch, you just keep it up an octave while you half time it. Because if you half time it, the pitch will kind of just go down an octave automatically in the halftime process so this just kind of negates that and after that i'm pretty sure i brought the bpm down a bit and then i just stretched out the loop and it gave me this So I kept that as an intro and then I basically took the start of that loop and then just chopped it up and looped it over And I don't know if you guys can hear, but it kind of has a click because I chopped it up on some of the parts, but it, funny enough, it kind of lands on the clap. So it kind of adds an extra texture to the clap and I didn't plan that at all. It just coincidentally happened and it sounds sick. And then on the second half, I just did the same thing, but I pitched the loop up an octave. And that is about it for the flipping of the melodic side of the loop. After that, I dragged in this hi-hat loop that I'm not too sure where I found, but this is how it sounds originally. And this loop is actually meant to be played at 90 BPM, so the speed is actually at 124, so that's why the loop sounds a bit goofy. It's all like sped up and shit. But I put this on a mixer, and then I just put half time on it. And that just kind of gave me a good base to follow for a bounce. And it kind of just sorted out my open hats for me as well. And I do that a lot with these hi-hat loops is I just half time them. And then I technically have like an organic open hat loop, which is pretty sick. So after I heard that bounce with the live hats, I just took this gritty dark hat from I don't know what kit. It sounds like this. And I just did a simple two-step. But as you can see, the waveform is a bit delayed. So it kind of adds a swing to the two-step. And I just ducked every second note's velocity as well to add more to the swing. After that, I added my snare. And now you can kind of hear the full swing of the beat. So half timing that loop and uh, just adding like a little delay two step, it just adds already so much swing to your beat. I feel like it's a really slept on thing to do and it's really easy to do as well. After that, I added this open head. And next we have the 808s, which is the funnest part of these types of beats. Because you have so much space to work with, because the bounce is just so hard, but it's so basic still, uh, you can kind of go crazy with the 808s, since the rest of the beat is pretty basic. So 
so yeah like i said just have fun with it you can do a bunch of slides a bunch of like triplet rolls and shit it all sounds hard and because everything is so low as well i feel like all those rolls and slides are kind of more emphasized because the jump of the octaves are kind of that big it just kind of emphasizes those parts of the pattern and then after that i just made a pattern unique for my 808 and i just switched it up a bit for variation And another thing you'll hear a lot in these like sample flip baby keem Kendrick Lamar beats is a lot of live drums whether it's drums that are like sampled and manipulated or just like straight up live drums there's always some elements of it in the beat so just to build up to the drop I added this little drum full that's kind of like an old school rock build up I guess And as you can hear, I also just added a riser to emphasize that. And that is about it for the beat. Um, I don't really have any other effects or anything on the samples. I just used half time. And then for the 808, I just added some Fruity Fast Disorder and a limiter on as well. And I topped it off with some EQ just to take off some of the high end of the distortion. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are messing with the Baby Keem videos because I really enjoy making these beats. As always, be sure to leave a like and a comment. Be sure to check out the description for the boys and all the label socials also be sure to check out our website we're constantly running sales there and we have a bunch of free kits on there as well so be sure to check it out i hope you guys have a blessed day and i'll check you guys in the next one